the 350Z right now. Just about to go head over to uh, my buddy's place. We're gonna test fit some uh, wheels on the Z today. Cause I'm just curious to see how 19s with a Meteor setup will look like on the Amuse kit. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this is gonna go. We're gonna try to fit my wheels on his G37. My wheels are a little like wide, so I don't know how that's gonna go. I'll document it all here and I hope you guys enjoy this video, so stay tuned. All right, so we here now. I just got to my buddy's spot. Um, I'm gonna show you how my car looks right now before we do the tire swap. Car is sitting on work VSSX three piece. They are 20 inch. VSSX almost look like the BBS LMR and at the Tokyo Auto Salon, the Amuse Superleggera 350 was running in the BBS LMRs and what I noticed is that when I was doing my research and looking up the specs for the wheels on the BBS LMRs is that they were similar to the specs I have right now. So that's why the fitment looks so great on the uh, on the kit. I'm just curious now because I want to run 19s uh, eventually with a MIDI setup. I haven't had 19s on this car in like so long. So I'm curious. I hope there's not much like wheel gap, but I'll have to adjust the height, you know, in the future and go from there. Let's get to it. Look at you got the biggest smile, eh? You got the biggest smile, eh? Huh? Hey, Zero. Zero. Boo. Ente. Mmm. Ente. Zero. Let's go to the shop. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So we in the shop now. You guys want to see what wheels we're gonna test fit? <laughs> all right. Well. Cue the B-Rose. Yep, that's right. TE37 SLs. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna test fit these. Uh, we're gonna jack it up, as I said earlier. Excited to see how it's gonna look. I, I don't even know what tire size he's running right now. Let me see here. This thing is bagged out. It's hard to tell. Let's see if I can find out the back. Okay, so the back's 275, which is good. I think he said I think he said the front was like 265 or something like that. So it's gonna be great. You know, like the VSSX are nice on the Z, but it's kind of a, a flashy wheel, like kind of like a show wheel. Yeah, so I wanna see how the Amuse kit will look with the TE37s, and then if I like the look, then maybe down the line or down the road, I'll pick up a set or maybe purchase his set. Who knows, whichever way the, you know, the universe wants to make it work for me. <laughs> but ideally, like I still want my SSR MS3. We'll see, we just have to go with the flow and take it year by year and just figure out what I'm gonna do or which route I wanna go, you know? Um, I love that deep dish three piece wheel setup. It would be nice to have, I guess, uh, a three piece wheel at 19 inch and then that way it can run, you know, some beefy tire as well. We're gonna have to boost this car now, get the bags going, air it up so we can get the jack underneath. And then after, uh, yeah, we can take off the wheels and roll it up to the friggin' front of the house and fucking get this insulation going. I mean, I'm gonna be sweating like a bucket, but <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> As you can see here, he is still working on the fully built VQ37. The thing's gonna be twin turbos. Be pushing about, what are you thinking? 600? Yeah, 600. Six, 700 horsepower. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy when this car is done. Four. Four jacks, that's perfect. Yeah, and I got a bunch of six by sixes. Okay. Those, those, those are real strong. <laughs> Holy wood. Yeah, it's all from a Fucking cut that up, make fucking uh, wood blocks. <laughs> wood to blocks. Go, to go underneath the car. Alright, 
so we got the wheels to the front of the house that was a pain in the ass oh my god rolling that up <laughs> how far is the shop is so i had to roll each individual rim up the grass up the friggin steps here on this front lawn oh my that was a mission <laughs> but yeah we're gonna jack up the z now put on the rear tires first lower it see how it looks go from there stay tuned Not too bad, bro. It's different. Damn, you know, that was actually like. That's actually when good. you look at it, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I was like, 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 you know, you get you, you have one look of a flashy polished wheel, and then the other, the rear was like, it's not washed, obviously, so it's like kind of dull and and all. But uh, now, now with like both wheels on the side of the, of the car, and you get a different perspective from it. Now I'm feeling it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Whoa, bad, yo, bro, look yo, looks sick, yeah. yo. Looks so like time attack, like sporty, Jeez. like damn. Something different. Looks about nasty. It, <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, yo. Shit, it's crazy. Yo, we just lowered it. Damn, that looks crazy. <laughs> That's nice. Jeez. That's really nice wheel. Ride height is like, it's like appropriate. Damn. I probably would want to go with a thicker tire in the front for sure. 245 seems to be a bit too thin, but if I think if I go 265 in the front, it'd be like that's just as meaty as the rears, and then it would fill that fender well really good. 19 by 9.5 plus 22, 19 by 10.5 plus 22. So now it gives me a perspective of like how much more offset I can go and how much more wider I can go. And with a 10 and a half plus 22, there's a lot of room down here. I can probably put like, I could probably get away with a 10 mil spacer here and it'll be like right flush. Maybe we'll try that out when I bring the car home. The front definitely has a lot of, uh, a lot of room you can space it out with. Feeling it, man, feeling it. TE's, TE's nice on the Z. <laughs> Just need a dial and a little bit more fitment. I think it would be perfect, you know, it would look like uh look like it came off the you know japan racetrack you know shit <laughs> the zed is looking so jdm right now damn i think i might need a set of te 37s <laughs> fuck but if i'm gonna buy a set of te 37 they're gonna be 19 by 10 and a half plus 12s in the rear and if i can get 19 by who knows, maybe I can run a 19 by 10 in the front or 10 and a half all around. Fuck, it'd be crazy, but uh, yeah, I like the look. I'm liking it. But yeah, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. This is the final result of the test fitting the Volk T37s on the 350 z I gotta say, you know, looks like I might buy a set of T37 soon or sometime in the near future. Let me know what you guys think of how it looks with the Amuse Super Legera kit. Until then, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tinkering around with cars and projects. And uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.